got a new phone congratulations now if you are an eSIM user the next thing you would like to know is how to transfer your eSIM from your older device to the newer one right now on YouTube you will find many videos saying that the only way to do that is to transfer your eSIM to a physical SIM then physically connect it to your newer device and then again transfer it to the eSIM right well that's not exactly true you can transfer your eSIM from your older device to the new one from the comfort of your home and the complete process should take an hour or two the process I am going to show you is also applicable if you are a if you have a physical SIM and you wish to convert it to an eSIM for your newer device so let's get started first I will show this process for the iOS users then I will conclude for the Android users as well the initial process for both the users are same so do watch the video till the end mindfully and don't skip a bit because every word I'm going to say it here is really vital the process is for general purpose but for the sake of demonstration I am using an Airtel eSIM here now this is the old device here the iPhone XR and iPhone 12 mini is the new device first on the old device you have to go to the message app and write eSIM then space then your register email ID with the operator and send it to 121 now if you have not registered your email ID with the operator you will receive a reply like this To update your email ID with Airtel, you need to type update space email then space your email ID. Say ABC is my email ID here. So I will type update space email space abc at the rate gmail.com and send it to 1 to 1. You have to wait for some time to get the email updated. Once done, send eSIM space your email ID again to 121. Then you will receive a confirmation SMS which should look like this. Now at this point you have to quickly reply to that SMS with 1. You need to do that within 60 seconds so don't waste time here. Then you will receive this SMS which says thank you we will call you shortly to confirm your eSIM change request. Within a minute or two, you will receive a call in your mobile number and a pre-recorded voice assistant will ask you to press a certain digit to confirm. Don't miss that call. After the call ends, you will receive this SMS which says thank you. You will receive an email with QR code to complete the eSIM activation. Now there is a very important consideration. If you do not receive an email with the QR code within one hour of this SMS just type NESIM NESIM and send it to 51619 to avoid disconnection of the physical or existing eSIM this should not happen but in case the email delivery fails after this you have to restart the process again from the beginning while you wait for the email you will receive this SMS you might receive this same SMS twice or thrice. I received it three times. Don't be concerned. It only confirms that your request is in process. Do check your register email ID and after a certain time, you should see this email pops up in your inbox. The email should contain the QR code of your new eSIM. Now for the iPhone users in your new device, go to settings, then go to mobile data, then tap add data plan option this will enable your mobile camera on the screen just scan that QR code you have received via email and follow the steps in your device as it comes and after those steps your new eSIM will be added in your data plan now for the Android users I don't have any device here but this is really easy just do that what I say I say it's a Google Pixel device there just 
go to settings then go to network and internet then mobile network there select carrier and tap on add carrier option select don't have a sim card option and tap on next this should open the mobile camera just scan the qr code there select start and your eSIM number will be added this completes the transfer process of your sim card now remember you are not going to see the network tower right away in your new device it's still active on your old device within an hour or two you will see that mobile signal is gone on your older device and it's now active in your new device just like this if it does not activate automatically in your newer device just restart your device and then you will see that the network tower has appeared in the network section now two very important aspects here first under the new eSIM if you go to the data plan in your new eSIM never click remove data plan option this will completely delete your eSIM card and you will have to register a complaint go to the physical store and then reissue the physical SIM of your mobile number so that's going to be a pretty tedious process so don't do that mistake ever you can add multiple eSIMs on a single device but at a time one eSIM and one physical SIM will be active second the SMS service on your new eSIM will be disabled for the 24 hours that is for a day for some security reasons so do plan your tasks accordingly so that's it for this video i think after this you can confidently transfer your eSIM across the devices if you have anything to ask do write it down in the comment section below do like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to tgt and i'll see you in my next one peace